The ocean is vast, powerful, filled with life. Sadly, it's also filled with plastic. While many of us are familiar with the dangers of plastic bags, bottles and other single-use items to the ocean, there is another often deadlier plastic threat. Ghost gear. Ghost gear is abandoned, lost or discarded fishing gear. Recent studies suggest that it accounts for up to 70% of floating macroplastics in the ocean by weight. Despite fishers' best efforts, gear gets lost, it snags on structures beneath the surface, it tears loose in rough weather or gets tangled in vessel traffic. In places without proper disposal facilities, damaged or worn out gear might be left behind. At times, illegal fishers deliberately abandon gear to evade authorities. However it ends up in the ocean, it continues trapping ocean life, or ghost fishing, for many years. Damaging habitats, hurting fish stocks, entangling wildlife, smothering reefs, ghost gear is the single deadliest form of ocean plastic to marine life. It harms those who live above the water too, threatening the jobs and incomes of coastal communities that depend on the ocean for a living. Today, it is estimated that as much as one metric ton of ghost gear enters the ocean every minute of every day. But there is hope. The Global Ghost Gear Initiative is the only platform in the world dedicated to tackling the problem of ghost fishing gear at global level. Part of Ocean Conservancy's Trash Free Seas program, the Triple GI unites members of the fishing industry, academia, governments, intergovernmental organizations, and NGOs. Together with over 100 member organizations, we develop and trial solutions to the problem of ghost gear, guided by three strategic pillars. Reduce the amount of gear ending up in our ocean. Remove ghost gear where possible. And recycle end-of-life gear and recovered gear. By preventing ghost gear from entering the ocean, we can avoid its devastating impacts altogether. The Triple GI's best practice framework for the management of fishing gear gives actors throughout the seafood supply chain the tools, like gear marking guidelines, recycling case studies, and spatial planning examples, to do just that. Together with the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the Triple GI has run workshops across the world, bringing together governments, seafood producers, fishers, and NGOs to formulate regional action plans for tackling ghost gear. In Indonesia, the Triple GI is working alongside the Indonesian government, small-scale fishers, and key supporters on a project to mark gill nets so that they can be traced back to their source. In the South Pacific, the Triple GI is collaborating with the governments of Vanuatu and Canada to trial low-cost methods for tracking fishing gear and identifying ghost gear hotspots with the aim of informing fisheries management policies. In the Caribbean, the Triple GI is working with fishers, fisheries managers and technology companies to address lost gear in local trap fisheries and support effective gear recovery. Another way the Triple GI is tackling ghost gear is by removing it from the ocean and supporting responsible disposal methods for end-of-life fishing gear in ports and harbours. In Maine, working with Ocean Conservancy, the Gulf of Maine Lobster Foundation and 11th Hour Racing, fishers removed over nine metric tons of ghost gear from Gulf waters. This is the Triple GI's single largest removal effort to date. In Myanmar, the Myanmar Ocean Project works with local communities to raise awareness about the impacts of ghost gear, as well as survey and recover ghost gear. In Panama, the Triple GI, the Panamanian government and FAO ran a ghost gear recovery dive workshop, training over a dozen divers to safely remove and sustainably dispose of ghost gear from the ocean. Once considered a harmful burden or waste, End-of-life gear can become a valuable resource through recycling by companies like Triple GI members Plastics Global, Burreo and Fourth Element. In Chile and Peru, 
Burreo is working with local fisheries to create a circular economy through the collection and recycling of end-of-life fishing gear. Burreo uses the recycled nets to create a variety of innovative products. And Fourth Element have pioneered the use of recycled nylon from ghost gear in a range of products, including performance water sport clothing, swimwear and wetsuits. Our ocean is under threat. Time is running out to turn the tide. But all is not lost. Together, we can work towards a ghost gear free ocean for all. <laughs>